Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to my adventure with CTS Wardrobe. So what we're going to do this time is I'm going to show you how to save an entire outfit so that you will be able to change into the outfit with one click of a button and not have to add a whole bunch of stuff, take off a whole bunch of stuff. So if you didn't catch the video I did on how to um, create and save your base body in wardrobe, then you want to go back and watch part 10 of the series. That's right before this video. Um, because we're going to need that in order to save an outfit and make it work correctly. So we're going to save this outfit that I've got on right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my inventory and go to my RLV folder. And I have a folder called Saved Outfits. So I've already saved some outfits in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder for this outfit. And basically to make the name unique, it's really long, but I just type in part of the stuff that I'm wearing. Um, some people add the date on the end um, because if you only upload one outfit on a certain date, then that's a way to make it unique. Um, but you don't have to search it once it's in wardrobe by this, so it really doesn't matter how long your name is, I suppose. Anyway, so there's the name of the folder that we're going to save this outfit into. And the other thing that I want to show you if I go into appearance, um, this is the outfit that I saved in inventory already. And there's HUDs like my Laura body HUD. Um, I'm not going to save my dance HUD. The Abigail set HUD um for the pants because you can change the belt uh, my zoe head i'm not going to save that on there because it's saved on my other body um the bustier and the jacket they both have heads to go with them so when i save an outfit i want to save the heads if there are any and that way when i put on the outfit the heads are already there if i decide i have to alpha out something on my body i've got my body head if i decide i want to um, change the color of the stuff. I've already got the HUDs there and I don't have to hunt them down. So I'm going to add these HUDs back so they're all going to start popping up all over the screen somewhere. No, I don't need the animations one. Ta-da! There they are covering my screen. So there's the HUDs that I want to save with the outfit so that as soon as I put it on, I can change it if necessary. Let me scooch over. How about that? All right. So at this point, what I need to do is I need to save all of the links for everything I have on plus my HUDs, copy them and paste them into this outfit folder. So if I go down and find my current outfit system folder, and it's a system folder because it's already there and I can't do anything with it. I can't delete it. If you notice what I'm currently wearing, it has not only the clothes, the jewelry, the hair, but it also has the parts of my body, base body that I'm wearing. So the only things I want to grab are anything non-body related. So I need to grab the hood for the jacket, the hood for the bustier, the um, pants that I have on. I don't want the body. That's a body. Here is the actual bustier, the actual jacket. By the way, to select these one at a time, when I click on it, I hit the control key and then click, and that way I can select only certain ones. Um, a Dorsey heels, I want those. The diamond choker, these are all body parts, don't want that. Um, here is another for the pants, I want that. The belly piercing, the hair. Um, I'm only saving the hair because my base body that I use does not have hair saved with it. The test one I did in the video before this has hair. So if you've already got hair on your base body, um, don't choose the hair. <laughs> my rings, my earrings, body, 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 body,
and that has to do with my body. Okay, so all the things that I have highlighted right now are the parts that I want to put on and add to my base body. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy those and then we're going to go back up, find my folder, just this leather jacket, da 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 da, and I am going to paste them into the folder. There they go, 14 elements. So when I open the folder, all of the links are there for everything that's non-body related. So now what I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and take these HUDs off because they're messing up my screen, man. It's just a bunch of clutter. I don't like a bunch of clutter. Whoops, that one didn't go anywhere. Leave. Leave. Get out. Wasn't that a movie? Get out. <laughs> Y'all see my screen back there? Look, it's our channel. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe so you don't miss anything. All right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. So now we need to go to wardrobe. And we need to actually get this outfit as a saved outfit into wardrobe. So let us go do that, shall we? Yes, yes we shall, Jazz. Okay. All right, so we're going to import. We're going to add an item. And let's see. I already took a picture of this outfit earlier, so I'm going to drag that in here. So there's my picture. And it's going to automatically... Add in the name. Now I copied the name of the folder um, and then pasted it when I saved the picture. I want to take this 001 off. It always does that for some reason. I'm not sure why. Obviously, this is not a base body. Um, this is a saved outfit. So I'm going to type in this is how I have saved outfit. So let's. This is a saved outfit, and actually, I usually don't add another tag um, because I can see what the outfit is, and I'm just putting on the outfit. So um, I might add multicolor HUD tag because it does have a HUD to change the colors of the outfit, the top at least. All right, so after you have the title that matches the folder, after you tag it the way you want to, which I want it tagged as a saved outfit so that when I search saved outfits, it pops up with all my saved outfits. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down because there's another step that's very, very important um, to get this done. So let's scroll down to put on base outfits. So we created a base outfit. There's the test one from yesterday. This is the one that I use um, when I actually get dressed. And what I want to happen is when I choose to wear this saved outfit, I want it to put it on a base outfit item. And these are all of my base outfit items. So I want to select my Matreya 5.1 base with layers. So that tells it when I tell you to wear this outfit, go ahead and put on this base body first and then add the outfit to it. So make sure you do that. That's very important, very important, or else it's going to be very ugly when you try to hit that button. <laughs> we don't want ugly. Okay, so I'm going to submit this, close out. Let me bring up all my stuff. All right, and there it is. Now I need to make sure that the folder is going to be found and there is my folder so it can find it yay 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 and so now i have a saved outfit here and one of the tips which i could probably put in a tip video but let me just show you now if i want to see all my saved outfits i can click on this and it adds the tag up here and it only shows all my saved outfits. So for right now, that's how many saved outfits I have. If I want to get rid of the tag and show everything, I click the X and then I don't see anything, but I go to show all and it will show everything at that point. So that is how you save a base outfit. And when you get ready to wear it, all you do is click this and it'll wear it or I like to do this one just because I like to have control of what I'm doing <laughs> and 
and you can click main folder and it will dress your avatar. It'll put the base body on first that you told it to and then it puts all the clothes and jewelry and everything on it and you're done. One click, change the whole outfit. So that's pretty exciting. So anyway, there you go. How to save an outfit. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. Find me in World. My contact information is down there as well as Kitty's information in the show notes. So to feel free to ask questions if you have questions and I will answer them. All right, so next video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to add multiple images so you can have more than one image. Cause sometimes like this one, there's a back to something and you wanna have that too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and get multiple images for your upload. All right, so until the next video, peace out. <laughs>